How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching my video. If you are not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. In this video, I will be replacing the iPhone 5C screen. As you guys can see, it is cracked up here at the top. Might not be able to see it. There's just some cracks going on. It doesn't really affect the middle of the screen, but uh, I just want a nice clean screen. So I have ordered a screen here and I will start doing the repair. First things first, if you bought a screen online, it most likely came with a repair kit. You know, a Phillips flathead screwdriver and a little pendulobe, the star looking one. Um, so you take that star looking one, the pendulobe one, and you remove these bottom two screws. Now that I've removed the two screws, um, I like to keep them in, uh, intact. You can print off online a little thing, a little chart to where you can put the screws so you know exactly where they go. Um, I've done it before so I got a fairly good idea. Uh, I can keep track of them just by laying them out just the way they are. So once the screws are undone, the next thing you want to do is if you have a little suction cup, uh, most kits will have a suction cup that they provide. Um, you take it and you just go ahead and place it pretty close to the bottom. You don't want to go over the home button there because it will not provide enough suction and just start slightly pulling out and as you can see it came up this is fairly this was a fairly simple one usually it's a little more hard to kind of get it up it's usually jammed in there wedged in there so it's a little bit harder this one came out fairly easy um, you don't want to rip it straight up because there are connectors up here at the top that you do not want to rip out um, the next thing you want to remove is this little metal cap there are four screws that you need to take out I will go ahead and take those out. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. There's the four screws. One, two, three, and four. I will go ahead and take those out. And then as you guys can see there, I have pulled out the four screws there. And I put them just the way they fit. This big one goes there. The one below it there, there, and there. So just to kind of keep track of them, that's the way I lay them out. And I will lay the metal screen right by them. Um, the next thing is to there are three little things you got a little clips you got to take apart here and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the outside one first just kinda have to get under it with something you know flat sharp that'll fit there and just bring them up and that's one two and three the third one is right here once those three are free then your phone will then free up and I will now Put this aside. I'll kind of draw some attention to if you have purchased a screen offline somewhere. Uh, as you guys can see, this has a black, the little uh, back cover. This does not. Um, just so, just to start off with, you will be needing to replace this since it's not there. Go ahead, grab the Phillips and take those off. I will remove. The suction cup, the two screws, one, two, I will replace those. So once the two screws have been replaced, I put them over here off to the side. Go ahead and lift up this black part. And you guys, you guys can see it's connected to this little black piece here. So just very carefully go ahead and lift up. It's on a sticker just to kind of be, keep that in mind. You don't want to rip it off be very careful with it it should peel right up and just like that that's what it looks like got the little sticker and that is your button you will need that so I'm gonna go ahead and lay that off to the side and if you didn't if your kit did not come with a home button uh, most of them usually don't I then go ahead and use something sharp and there's a sticky sticker type thing around the edge I try to pry that up and get that out so you can reuse this button so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so there we go I got that out and the way I do that is I'll, I'll just use a finger and I'll push out out of the bottom and use a flathead screwdriver to prop up one side and then once you get it unglued part of the way it usually comes up pretty easy um, the next thing you want to do is remove these two screws here and there will be the metal metal cap you will want to take that off now that I got the two screws, as you guys can see, these two screws are now out. Um, it's time to lift up this black piece, I, this metal piece actually, it's not black. Um, and then right here in the corner, there is a little um, little thing that helps it stay on. I just go ahead and lift that part up and out, 
and then that helps remove the and just kind of wiggle wiggle it out there's another little metal piece in there kind of holding it in that helps remove that so once you got that replaced uh, this little there's a little black little black cover here go ahead and just lift that up it's just connected through that little loop it's stuck in a hole over there go ahead and lift that up and then start by removing some screws here on the back part to take off this black metal plate there's one two three four five and six screws that you gotta take off I'm gonna go ahead and take those off okay now that I have removed the screws I will start by removing this uh, top part here to help uh, take the black or the metal part off the back here there's a little black sticker I go ahead and lift up here with my flathead screwdriver just be very careful over here it's there's a lot of sticky glue stuff so I went and lifted that and that came up this comes back and there's one more piece this piece here go ahead and lift that up um, now that you got that up and off from the connecting to that top screen there I'm gonna go ahead and pry off this metal piece and now I have this metal piece removed now as you guys can see these two look almost identical there's nothing that separates them um, so you want to take off this back little sticker they'll usually come with one you can just toss that throw it away I'm going to go ahead and take my old screen, the one that had a crack on it, and just kind of get it out of the way here so it's not bothering us. And now you just start by reversing what you just did by replacing, putting the, this metal plate back onto the new screen. Fits nice and easy in there. And just kind of the reverse order. There's a little hole for that piece. You go ahead and stick that in there. This camera piece stick it right there there's a little hole for that there we go and as you guys can see there are two holes right there and there are two little uh, if you got your own phone you might be able to see it a little better there's two little slot looking deals Let's see if I can't get some good lighting on them they are right there one two so once you got your camera in there are holes in this piece there and you go ahead and put these holes on those little pegs that stick up go ahead and just line that up I'm gonna get my camera in there, there we go and line those holes up so there it is I went ahead and pushed there's a little that little square bottom square you gotta put that in um, I got all it, all this in now so I'm gonna go ahead and replace the six screws that I have taken off from the old one now that I've replaced, put the screws back in, I'm now going to put on this metal piece. What you want to do is line up that little round circle with the circle in here. You want it to get it inside. Once you got it there, you got to make sure that the holes line up. And now I have put it on and got it in place. You just got to make sure that that little oval loop fits in that um, little plastic piece on the, on the front screen. And then go ahead and put this black piece or the metal piece back on the way it was. As you guys can see there's this little metal piece that's supposed to go under. And on the right side here, the part that we were prying up, um, that goes down and it should click in once you get that in place as you can see it kind of mine is a little bit sticking up there um, go ahead and use the screws that were there kind of to hold it down fasten it make sure it doesn't go anywhere I'm gonna go ahead and put my screws in The longer one goes on the top, and then there's a little shorter one that goes on the bottom. So the top long one goes here, and the shorter one is the bottom one. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure they're nice and snug, not overly tight, but just snug to make sure that they will not be coming out later. And now that we got that back on, we will be moving back to these pieces. And the first one is the 
There's a little uh, home button here. I usually just kind of give it a little bit, you know, kind of clean it up. Use a flathead screwdriver to clean around the edges just to get some of that dirt and, and debris and whatnot out of there. So what you want to do is, you guys might not be able to tell in, here in the video, but in real life, one of, one of the sides is bigger. The bigger one goes towards the bottom, the smaller one goes towards the top. And go ahead and get it in there. Try to get it as straight as you can. You can kind of can't really see it here in the video, but uh, in in when you're if you're doing a repair, you'd be able to tell to see how straight it is. You can also turn around to see how straight your circle is. Uh, mine's a little off, so I'm just gonna go ahead and redo it real quick. Okay, I got it all nice and squared up, and so the next step is to put your little uh, home button there back on. Once again, there's a little glued spot. So you, I usually line up my holes and just press down to get this glued area, the little sticker part in to get it down on there. I just use a little screwdriver or something to make sure it's sealed all the way down to the bottom, right where it should be. And that looks pretty good. And then you just go ahead and screw in the screws, get them back in. And now that the screws are all back in, the screen is ready to go. Um, all we got left are the four screws to hold that on and the two screws to hold on the screen to the phone. Um, so you go ahead and put it in. There are some clips here at the top of the screen. I usually use those. I fold these things back and use those. I just go ahead and push it up to the corner or up to the top and just lift up like that. And then from here, uh, I start from the back and work these little tabs on. They're a little tricky to get, kind of get a hang of, but once you get it, um, they go pretty good. So I got the first one down. I just kind of, if I can't get it, I just kind of try to wiggle it around, move it around till it fits. This, the, this is the last one. It's the, I'd say, the trickiest one for me. Takes a little bit of playing around with it to get it. And I don't, if, if I know it's not in, I don't push too hard, um, just in case, so, I, you don't, so you don't damage anything. Okay, and now that all of those, all three of those are down and they are nice and snug on there, you can go ahead and replace the little cap there go ahead put that on and just screw in the four screws and I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay and now I got uh, four screws there I uh, screwed those down and if that's in place um, once you get that part done go ahead and lay just kind of lay it forward the screen and from this point I usually push push up to get the screen to fit in up here at the corner I was showing you guys those little lines earlier just to kind of, I just push up and then you can kind of see when it fits it kind of sinks in instead of staying up on top once you get that then just slowly work the rest of the screen down just be very careful you're not putting extra pressure too much to uh, crack or damage anything if you have any troubles just kind of keep pushing the screen that way up towards the top just to get it to fit because sometimes it's a little bit you know it's a different screen so it's got the different uh, feel in it you know just doesn't get all the way back up in there so I'm gonna go ahead and get this screen in by pushing that way and working the edges down and now as you guys can see I have got the screen all the way in um, it's a little bit tougher up here just got to make sure that it's in and down all the way before you get it in so now that that's done uh, you want to get your little star the penelope screwdriver and replace the two um, replace the two screws here on the bottom go ahead and put them back in I'm just gonna do the one um, and make sure that the phone turns on make sure you did everything properly and there you have it I usually power it off before I get started, but uh, I either powered it back on or I forgot to power it off. So there you have it, nice and uh, done. Check, make sure everything works, that the screens work. Make sure that you can uh, 
make sure your keyboard works everything's good so that is how you replace the front screen on a iPhone 5C hope you guys found this video helpful uh, please like and subscribe if you guys have any comments concerns anything questions go ahead put in the comment section below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can thanks for watching have a nice day